So now we're going to get to hosting. Just make this a bit bigger for everyone. And the sites we're going to use is SiteGround to get our hosting. So just SiteGround, and it's uh, the first one in Google. SiteGround.co.uk. Click there. And I believe you're going to sign up for a new hosting account, aren't you? I am. You look very quiet and I'm concentrating. interested there. Let me just show you what's going to go on here, okay? Um, we're essentially going to go into the WordPress hosting. Yeah. So if I click there, and there's free plans of hosting you can sign up for. The startup only allows you to host one site. Grow Big allows you to host multiple sites. And Geek allows host multiple sites and you get a few extra bells and whistles. So what would you recommend then for me for my first? Well, I'd recommend anyone who builds a site never go for um, uh, a plan that allows just one website. Because inevitably what happens is next week you want to build another website because you know how to do it, you've got a bug and all the rest of it. So always go for the Grow Big, which is, this is three ninety five a month. However, you must know that um, they do charge you per year. So this is three ninety five a month for your first year. Okay? What's that, about £50? I can't remember, we'll find out in a minute. Okay. That has to do math, you know what I mean? Sorry. Couldn't write myself on freaking public TV. It's but this, really is, this is the real, best is the best thing you would recommend. Yeah, most certainly. It's okay. to grow big. And site ground as well, yeah. Okay. Um, it's really making waves. So, click to get started. And um, here you ask if you want to register a new domain or you already have one. So okay. Have if, you, one. if you're going to register one, you've got to pay to 12 dollars yeah? Mm -hmm. So we already have one. So we really, we've reduced the bill. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? So there you go. Okay. So, so. Um, we're registering. Work. No. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll say that. Dot club. Perfect. Is there a dot there? Yeah. Perfect. So you proceed with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you just fill in account information, as in, you know, people don't know their names and their emails and stuff. So, um, do you want to fill that in? Okay. Well. I don't think we have to actually. I don't think we have to. Everyone uh, knows yeah, their own Because it's, it's all your own stuff. The only things I'd say to you here is as you're filling it in, oh, it says hosting fast. services. Yeah. So 47.40. Yeah. Regularly, nine ninety five a month because it's a discount on your first bill. So I would say then is whatever you can afford, buy that for your first bill because it's going to be that per month ah. for the whole bill. So even if it's three years you buy it for, it's like 170 quid. That's cool. Because yeah. so after the first year, exactly. it would go up if you only buy the yeah. one year. Exactly, right? yeah. So um, pick whatever you want to try. And again, this, this you can do a trial, yeah, for 20 quid. But again, you're going to have to, re gonna have to re renew it. And then will it go up to 9.95 a month after that? Exactly, yeah. So oh. so definitely do the... At least 12 months. At least 12 really. months, yeah. Yeah. As you can see there, um, we've got a price down here now of... Um, 5688, you were right, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't need anything else, you don't need any extra services. So you just confirm and pay now. But we're not going to pay now. Okay? Once you've paid now, you have access to an account. So should we go onto your account now? Okay then. So then we can show them what happens once. Okay. Okay, so when you have your site grant account, um, you go to information settings, yeah? Mm -hmm. And this is what you need for name oh, treat. Yeah. yeah? To write down your DNS. Exactly. So when you have your site account, okay, go to information and settings, and here is. Does it your, matter which one? Or NS, because there's two there. There's two, as in the top one and the bottom yeah. one. You need both of them. Oh, right. Okay. Um, the numbers you don't need, you just need the domain, as in the. So NS1, NS1 and NS2, yeah. UKM1. Site ground dot is. But you need to copy those. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be writing anything down if I was you. Well, I had I'd, them written down in. I'd, I'd copy them to your notepad so you can paste it straight yeah, I in. I've got the mouse. So you copy that there. Hit me an enter button. What am I doing? Copy. No, paste. just enter. Just enter again. Oh. There you go. And paste. I'm gonna hit me an enter button again, will you? I think you're a bit slower at enter button here. Copy NS2. Go on in. 
and those are what you paste into the main shape. So, should we go and do that? Yeah. So you go to the main shape. Oh, there you go. There you go, enter. Now I'm going to sign into my main shape account. He says, I think, I think this one bought the domain, I yeah, can't remember. Sorry. Is that me? No. <laughs> That's not me. I don't know why it does that sometimes, actually. Okay, so... That is. Okay, so go to manage the domain. I didn't add the domain. I didn't add it here, did I? Someone at the door. Yeah. <laughs> It's my phone. I know. I didn't add it here, did I? No, you Remember, didn't. I was going to. I know. Or we could help someone at the door. So I'm just going to copy that because I need to add the domain to my account because um, I have domains already. And I'm just going to generate a password. So if anyone else had site ground already, this is what they would do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But um, as a new user, it's, it's, it's going to be the only domain name that's uh, propagated. So I'm going to add the domain. So it just. To get it straight in my head, if you, you have to don't have SiteGround thing. already, you sign up to SiteGround with your domain name that you've yeah. got. Yeah, and what will happen is... And if you do have SiteGround, then you need to do this. You yeah. need to add it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, over back at, over at Namecheap, I'm not going to how I'm confused everyone by jumping back and forth. Hope not too confusing. It's got to be less confusing watching you than trying to do it yourself. What you say? So once you're at Namecheap, you go to Name Servers, or went to Manage Domain, and it'll just refresh. So I was at Namecheap, will not work, go to Manage the Domain. Once you're on that page, you scroll down a little bit to where it says Name Servers, and it's going to be Namecheap Basic, and we're going to go to Custom DNS. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's where we add our name server one and not name server two and then we click this tick button here to save it all and we'll get a message if it all goes well one moment user yeah i think my um my pca goes a bit slow so it says here, DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect, but usually it will take about 20 minutes to two hours. And um, So we're not going to sit here for two hours and wait? No, 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 no.